Hello my friends, William Poloniak here at Whole Health Foundation. In this video I'm going to test this so-called zero blowback feed tube, right, um, right siding feed tube that Norwalk makes, their Model 290. Now I'm going to compare putting some carrots through the offset to the right feed tube on the Norwalk 290 model to the front loading feed tube on the Whole Health Foundation Model 800. Put the carrot in the Model 290. No blowback. And then we'll put it in the Whole Health Foundation Model 800. No blowback, so they perform similarly. Let's try that one more time. Well, the blowback situation is similar, but one disadvantage to the Norwalk uh, Model 290 is you can't see in here unless you look over on the whole health foundation model. You can see directly into the feed tube, which is a big advantage. All right, let's compare some other features. I notice on the 290 model they have a thicker upper plate, similar to the 280 model but the press plate is still too thick. It should be one quarter inch, not one half inch. Otherwise, over time, the piston is going to mushroom at the top. And here on the Whole Health Foundation Model 800, we have a thinner upper plate and the correct press plate. If we had a quarter inch thicker press plate on the top, we would switch this to a quarter inch um, thinner press plate. Now one thing I do like about the 290 model is the press cover extends out to the front on both sides and in the back and that minimizes any leakage down below. Now one thing I really dislike about this model is you can't turn it on unless there's another switch in the back and then it turns on. This seems very redundant to me. If I were making this user, I'd have only the switch in the back. They do have, however, the IEC plug, which is a very, very good improvement. It's one of the few improvements on this model that I would agree with. One thing I really dislike on this 290 model is these nuts are much more difficult to um, loosen by hand. So what I'm going to do is put on the regular wing nuts. They do have a tool for this, but I don't see the necessity for that. So that's something I really dislike. Another thing I don't like about this offset feed tube, it always leaves a plug behind, but there is a way to mitigate that. And what you do is you take some pulp, put it in here, and that'll push through that plug. And another thing I don't like is it doesn't have tall enough legs so that you have to tip this back every time you take a single serving jar out. So we have to turn that on at the back again and this redundant switch. Another thing I don't like about these nuts is it's very difficult to remove them and they do have a tool for that but I've lost it. And that's another disadvantage of having an extra tool that's easy to lose. Now here I have 24 ounces of juice and I've repackaged the pulp. And I'm going to see if there's any more juice in that by repackaging it into a tighter package. Close to 10%, maybe about 7% more juice. Still has steady flow. Let's stop that to see how much extra juice we got. Yeah, two ounces, another 
Now another change they made on the juice tray because it had a tendency to fall forward is they put a clip on the back to clip onto the press plate. However, it's spot welded and eventually those spot welds are going to break or rust through and I don't think that's really a good idea. If it were me, I would have shortened the tray, left the slope. You notice here they have a slope so that the juice evacuates better. I would have left the slope but shortened the tray and had the original one half inch thick upper plate. But I'm not the designer of their juicer. But they have mitigated it with the clip at the back, but like I said, eventually those spot welds are going to break. A much better design is the tray on the Whole Health Foundation Model 800 and the early models of the uh, Norwalk, which is much better balanced, that has the same weight front to back, and if you had put sloping sides on it, it would be even a better tray. But this original tray is well balanced, it has the original upper, I think it's a three quarter inch plate, and um, functions without falling forward and no need to weld on a clip at the back because it stays on the press plate properly. Another change they made on the 290 model is they eliminated the vent holes on the side. I don't know why they did that, it would have been a good idea to leave them. And they changed the vents to up here and down here. Now if it were me, I would have left the vent holes at the bottom and the top and the side and added these two vents. You can see on the other model, now you can see on the original model the vent holes at the top and the bottom and the side. Now if it were me, I would have added the vents in the middle and the bottom. As for the feed tube, the choice is yours of course. The offset to the right feed tube always leaves a plug inside and you need to remember to put some pulp in there and force that plug through. Or you have the model 800 Whole Health Foundation feed tube that is angled toward the front. Zero blowback up to your ceiling and a much more ergonomically um, practical design where you can actually look inside to see if there's any produce shred or not shred. You'll never have a plug left over on this design whereas on the Norwalk model you'll have to push that plug through. Well my friends there you have a comparison of the new Norwalk 290 model with the Whole Health Foundation Model 800 that has several advantages one being the thermometer the second being a solid bottom plate and other premium parts that the 290 model does not have. There are a lot of good features to this model and there are a lot of good features to this model. I think this model is superior. Actually I know it's superior and I've explained how in other videos. If you'd like to get more information from me please give me a phone call at 760-753-0321 or email me at developtrust at cox.net or if you want to see my webpage to order parts or juicers or supplies, go to wholehealthfound.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed this comparison, and if you did, please tell a friend. I'll see you in the next video.